Hi guys, in today's video I want to show you how to prepare your DJI Mini Pro Drone for resale if you're actually in the process of selling it and you want to clear down the data and your personal details um, before you give it to the new owner. Alright, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you haven't left, of course, any storage cards um, in your drone. So I just need to double check the, the, sock, the, the actual slot here and there's nothing there, that's good. And also make sure you, have, of course, haven't left anything um, in the, I'm just pressing random buttons, uh, on the inside the actual control itself. If I could actually get the stupid flap to actually open up. No, that's nice and clear. Um, then what I want to do is just kind of uh, format the internal uh, log statistics of our flights. So the way to do that is to go to profile here, and then we're going to go down to settings. And we can then see we have a number of different things. Uh, for example, where we go to storage here, then uh, I don't actually have any storage uh, SD cards, but if you, if you had one, you might want to um, format it if you decided to give the person a SD card. Um, you could do that here. Otherwise, for example, go to my internal storage. I've got a number of different things like uh, clear local log and clear album data. So what I'm going to do is just go through and actually just delete all this information here and just go through and just get rid of all the bits and bobs information. Just clicking the little um, dustbin symbol to the right um, just here and just clicking at making sure everything says naught megabytes on the cache. That's nice and clear. Now it does actually have some store, uh, things in internal storage. Um, that's obviously to do with the actual uh, sort of operating system, I suppose, of the actual uh, of the of the app. So we don't have to worry too much about that. And then um, I, we need to go to back out to device management here. And um, if you actually have bound your uh, your DJI drone to your account, and I actually haven't here um, because I've just too, been too lazy, then um, you can actually you would actually go through the process of binding it this way. But I ha if I if you have bound it already, what you need to do is you'll you'll see your account appear and you'll have a button to actually unbind it. So make sure you press that button, and it's basically just a, a deletes it the device from your DJI account. So we've got the actual. Um, it's been activated, but I'm actually bound it to the DGI service. And then go to the Valley Add service here. And the same way here, you may actually have a binding to um, your, I think, DGI flyaway service and stuff like that. So make sure you delete it from that position there. I haven't, I've already done it, or I didn't actually do it in the first place. So that's why mine says buy new device. So that's nice and clear. So we're pretty much uh, all good. So the last thing we really want to do is I've still got an account here. So notice I really haven't used this drone very much. I've done 12 kilometers, which is probably virtually nothing. Um, so I'm just going to then go through and, whoops, I guess not, I'll go through that. I'm going to go through and unlog myself out of my account by hitting the button there. And after before, if you get that message, you have to make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi. And obviously I'm not, so I just need to sort that out and then try again. And once you've managed to get yourself back onto the Wi-Fi, go back to the profiles um, on the on the options here, and then you your, your, I've already must log myself out. But if you're logged in, just make sure you're logged out so that you have this um, kind of anonymous login profile. So the next person will come through and they'll just uh, go through here and they can just log in to their uh, DJI account and should be up and running. Now, there are a few things you can do to actually clear down the device a bit further if you want to, um, which is, in okay, case so you want to get it to forget the Wi-Fi um, networks, you can you can do that. Or if you're extra paranoid, you can actually then completely do a factory reset of the controller. So let me just show you how to do that. So we're going to swipe down from the top here, like so, and it eventually works. And um, notice I'm connect currently connected to the my Wi-Fi. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to click on little uh, hexagon at the top right corner. Now if you want to also uh, do a complete reset of the device, now then what you can do is you can go to system down here and then we're going to choose a reset options. So let's go for example to just the, re the Wi-Fi and get rid of all the Wi-Fi settings. So I'm just going to click on that. 
there we go, they've been reset. And if I'm extra paranoid as well, what I can also do is I can actually erase all data and this is going to pretty much like put things back ready for the new user. So I'm just going to click erase all data and it's going to do that, it's do its little thing and we should find it should now start to restart the controller um, in just a moment. So it's now gone off and in a moment it should then hopefully uh, come back on back to life again. There it is. And notice now I say erasing. So we are getting rid of all the inf any personal information if there was any. And we now should be ready for the next user to take over and uh, take enjoy the drone.